Good morning, my Marcusfeld Secondary School, and Happy New Year from the crew of Mark is Feld Television. That would be me, Brandon, Mass and Gemma, Rebecca, Milo, and that other guy. We're kind of scrambling for news right now, so everything we say is kind of wishy-washy. We have a curling team now. And stuff. To ring in the new year, we're going to go to Brandon Toon with his, I don't know, a synonym or segment on New Year's resolutions. Take it away, Brandon. New Year's resolutions. They last about as long as this segment. Thank you, Brandon. It is the 16th pint, by the way, of MITV. And I finally got the announcements for a month ago, and one of the most important things is that there is a school dance next month around the Valentine's Day-ish area. Get your groove on, send a Valentine's gift to someone, maybe go eat a box of chocolates alone and cry. I don't know. Have fun at the dance, though. We now go to Rebecca Leet doing other New Year's stuff. Good morning, Mark and Svelte. Are there any gym rats out there like me? Well, if you are one, you will have noticed that this month there are a lot of people at the gym. My guess is that it's people's New Year's resolutions to get fit or to get healthy, and that's the reason why they're clogging up the gym. So if you are one of those gym clockers, I want to see you there in February. I don't want you to give up on your dream body or your dream goal or whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish by going to the gym. I don't want you to give up because when you reach your final goal or as you're reaching your goal on that destination of your dream body, it feels so nice to like finally get to that one place. And I want each and every one of our students at Marcusville to be able to feel what it's like to reach a great goal. So just remember that Valentine's Day is coming up, winter break is over, and the new year has begun, and that a summer's body is a winter's work. So if any of you guys are either interested in just improving your health or wanting to become more fit or just anything in general, like health-wise, I really do suggest trying out the gym. And, you know, um, it might be hard going there the first few times because, I mean, you're new and you might not know the equipment or anyone there. But, I mean, you could find a friend or you can just be brave and outgoing and just go to the gym. I mean, that's the first step is just going to the gym. And then after that, it just gets easier. So, um, I have a picture of Niall Horan from One Direction on my water bottle. And he really just motivates me because his body I want for myself to have, or not on me, not my body, but to have next to me. So um, his body just really motivates me when I'm working out and I'm just, I don't want to give up. Then when I'm taking a sip of my water, I, I look at his dreamy face and his body and I think, wow, I'm in it for the long run. Thank you, Rebecca. This next part of MITV, where I'm talking to you in ranty voices, is going to be aimed at the grade 12s of the school. So all you lesser grades, look to this area of your television monitor for entertainment while I talk to the grade 12s. And grade 12s, you can look there too. Make sure you're listening, because I'm not going to repeat myself. Uh, there's another order of grad clothing coming in, but only if we get a lot of names signed up. So go to the office. Ask around about that. Um, also, and I see dual credit students. There's a meeting next week on Wednesday at 11:30 at the Career Center for final registration details. Janet Begg is gonna be there. Big people, big people. And yeah, there's not much going on for grade 12s. So let's just go to our next segment. We're now taking you to Madison Mayhew doing a segment on girls, girls and cooties and girlies and rainbows. Girls. Girl stuff. Take it away, Max. Hi. Check out this neat post all my friends are sharing on Facebook. Yes, I'm a woman. I push doors that clearly say pull. I laugh harder when I try to explain why I'm laughing. I walk into a room and forget why I'm there. I count on my fingers and math. I hide the pain from my loved ones. I say it's a long story when it's really not. I cry a lot more than you think I do. I care about people who don't care about me. I try to do things before the microwave beeps. 
I listen to you even though you don't listen to me. And a hug will always help. Yes, I'm a woman. Repost if you're proud to be one. Come on, ladies. Dot, dot, dot. Heart. See, this is really great because what could be harmful about promoting the idea that women are all illiterate, scatterbrained, self-destructive, and emotionally unstable slaves to men? Honestly though, it's obviously completely fine to do any or all of those things. I don't care how much you cry or count on your fingers, but can we please realize that you don't do those things because you are a woman? I really truly thought we were past all that. Obviously, it's great to be proud that you're a woman, and please continue doing that, but I don't see why to do that. We need to accept that we're all apparently oversensitive, doltish idiots. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm just scared of people perpetrating these stereotypes without knowing what they're doing. I know you're doing it with good intentions, but just can we please try to think a little bit more about what we're putting out there? Thank you, Thomas. Back to you. Thank you, Madison. Going back down my list of inconsequential news that happened yesterday or the day before. Uh, those interested in auditioning for a spring production, please sign up for an audition time on the sheet in the office. Auditions are yesterday and today at lunch and after school. If you want to be part of a spring production for our beautiful school, Marker Isfeld Secondary, go to the office and sign up for an audition ASAP because you probably only have... I don't know where the clock is in here, like five minutes before TA ends, so get on that. And I've been looking over our intramural team names. Is What the hell is wrong with you children and your names? All Blacks versus Balsanga. Okay, I'm not that bad with that one. Linegar's Loonies versus the Martians. Okay. Carlos and the Canadians. I assume Carlos isn't Canadian. And the Organ Donors. I really don't care what your team names are, as long as there's not a no-name team, because that's been going on since I was in grade 8. That's five years of no-name brand intramural teams. Stop that, Isfeld. Stop it. None of that. We now go to Gemma Galetsky doing the weather for the first time in three weeks, which is awesome, because I haven't known what the weather is for three weeks. Take it away, Gemma. No one cares about the Golden Globes. Happy New Year to the Isfeld School. It is the weather report with the school's resident sweaty muscle man, Gemma Glowwormski. It's cold as hell. I can see my freaking breath. How does that work? And man, it's been pretty clear and sunny actually, but so, so cold. Why? Actually, I do know why. Because I'm a meteorologist. And right now there ain't no clouds up there. But when there's clouds, all the warm in the atmosphere is like bouncing off the clouds and ground like a freaking dingus idiot. Like some kind of greenhouse effect. Unbelievable. So when there's no clouds, the heat just rises. Forever. There's nothing to stop it. And if you don't think that's real as heck, then get out of my face. So the weather this week pretty much showing a mix of sun and cloud. It's pretty fresh outside. The grass is crunchy. Back to you, Thomas. Thank you, Gemma. We don't have teen slang this week because we're all tired and we don't care about your feelings. So we're just going to cut the episode right now. Spare your eardrums and your sanity. Go off to your next class. Stay frosty, Marcus.